Hi, this is Jessica. And Robert. With Exploring the Local Life. Today we are coming to you to talk about how we transitioned from living in a house to living in an, in RV. an RV. This is a question I think that we get often, and we've actually been told that people look for these types of radios and can't find them. So, so hopefully you found it. Yes. This episode of Exploring the Local Life is brought to you by RVWithMe.com. They connect RVers and landowners. RV owners can enter to their desired location and a list of nearby locations will appear. Landowners or RV park owners can list their sites and have RVers find them. That's RVWithMe.com. So anyway, we basically had about a month from the time that we purchased our RV to the time that we needed to hit the road. And we had about a month before we actually needed the RV, uh, we got the RV. Yeah, it was a month-long process of purchasing and bringing it home. I will say that the process is overwhelming. Yep. Uh, stressful. And exciting. And exciting, but it also gets to the point where you're like, I just want to be done. I just want to go in the RV, and I want to skip this whole getting rid of stuff part. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, you can't. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you have enough money, you can. You could just lock up your house and just go. We couldn't do that. We could not do that. We had to, we were either going to be living in a house full time or we were going to be living in an RV full time. And as you guys have seen, we chose the RV. So we had to empty out a 2,000 square foot home to move into a, how many square feet is this? That's about 300 square feet, including the slide. So the first thing that we did, we did some easy things. We went through and the easy things were looking at clothes that either we just don't want anymore. Or or haven't worn literally in years. Years. And then, of course, the kids grow out of things in, like, what, two seconds. So that was easy. We called all that stuff out. The kids' stuff also was easy because we were able to sell that at a yard sale easily. Also donations and also friends that have other children. Highly recommend yard sales. Stick to your guns because in the end, it's better to just give it away than to accept 50 cents for something that's worth $20. Yes, and if you are on Facebook, which most of us in this age range are, put your stuff to pick pictures and put your stuff up, especially local friends might come by and get it. So those things are easy to get rid of. And the yard sales, do them often, do them early. Yes, as many as you can. If you can even do like a group thing, like we ended up jumping on, there was like a community yard sale, we just jumped on that. And then at the end of every yard sale or Whatever community sale, we just knew whatever we didn't sell, we were just going to donate. When it starts getting really difficult is when you have been doing this for weeks and weeks and weeks. And you look around and you're like, we have so much crap. And that's all just, it is. It is. And you start thinking like, what? But then it, it, it becomes things that you're like, okay, I think this is stuff you have to throw, we have to throw away. But you start feeling bad because I did of all the waste really, that we had been producing and accumulating over the years that we hadn't gotten rid of. So mm-hmm. it, was, it was kind of traumatic to see how much junk we had to throw away. Um, do an honest evaluation. Have you used these things in the last year, the last two years, the last three, the last four years? And how many things, large things, really have sentimental value? There will be some, like at the dining room table. We have a dining room table. Oh, I love that table. Could not get rid of the dining room table. I would not... Is just something I need to have. Hopefully the kids, if they decide to have a home at some point, will have a place for it. Um, It's something that's very important to me. But the point being is, what is really valuable to you? Bring that with you. Those things that are just as valuable but don't work, then at that point, you can make that compromise and see if somebody can keep it. Am I buying into that? You might be the mic. Um, Another thing that was helpful to us specifically, like I could not, he was working until like two weeks Two weeks prior we launched. Two weeks prior that we launched. And basically, he didn't want to leave like the day before work. Did you? We had a few days before. But anyway, it was very overwhelming to do that. And we didn't have the RV at first, even when we knew we were going to do this. And the clock is ticking. We had to buy a truck. We had to buy a truck. We had to buy the RV. And we were trying to sort before then, but really not having an idea of how much space was in the RV was (laughs) very difficult. So if you can have your RV parked i know for some people depending on your financial situation that may be difficult but having it there with you will really help you be able to see like you can actually take your dishes and stick them in there and see if they fit um 
you can open up drawers, put some clothes in there, and, 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 and kind of get a feel for what you can and cannot fit. It'll really help you mentally. Mm-hmm. And a part of that. the process is not... One thing that actually helped us is having small storage solutions. So your RV will have cupboards, it'll have drawers, but even within that, you just don't want to put stuff in randomly. You want to have your little plastic buckets. We can go to Ikea and buy little section things and, and, and use that in order to break things into smaller dimensions. Yeah, and again, start with whatever's easiest. If you can, in your home, somehow like pick a room that'll be the keep room. And then, you know, put well, stuff... the initial keep room, the initial and then you'll need room. to go through it and right. go through it again. But it'll at least help you, like, this is where we're keeping. This is what we're donating. This is what we're selling, and this is trash. Exactly. So, yeah. So, and so a lot of that might become trash. Yeah. So that's the strategy. Move everything out of the room into a smaller and smaller space as you go through. As you do a yard sale, move everything that's going to yard sale into the garage or into a particular room, and just keep pushing stuff out empty your rooms empty the house into a corner so that you have an exact idea visually of just what remains that is a very helpful way to see okay the kids rooms are empty there's nothing left to worry about there the dining room's empty the family room's empty the master is empty except for all the dust and cobwebs and yeah, dust bunnies and... oh i miss cleaning back behind that thing yeah but yeah so if you're in this process now and you're feeling overwhelmed, that is totally normal. Feeling anxious, normal. If you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm never going to do this, this is a mistake, normal as well. But visible progress helps. <laughs> visible progress Visible helps. progress. You get those rooms empty, move things over, bam. Another thing, you know, being a guy, I am not that handy, but I do love tools. Um, your father-in-law is going to love you for it, you know, just <laughs> to leave whatever tools with him. He appreciates it. Yeah, my dad got the little giant ladder. Mm-hmm. But that's sort of all we wanted to talk about, just sort of to, we, we can't give you a specific thing because everyone's situation is different. The amount of sentimental things that you have is going to be different. So it's hard to give specifics, but just to understand sort of maybe a starting point and, and, and normal feelings during the process. It's not going to be fun. But you yep. get through it and think about what you're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. Gaining that freedom and fulfilling a dream that you have. Exactly. And that's... That's what you have to keep focus on. Mm-hmm. Now, if you like what we're talking about, if you have specific questions, please comment. We Absolutely. try to respond to every single comment. We're here uh, to help you guys. Yeah. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.